What's going on everyone, TM24 here and we are back with some more Marvel Snap content. Now today we're going to be doing a single game showcase of our Kitty Bounce deck. Now I know there are lots of different types of decks going around out there, especially since Kitty Pride was introduced to the game, but this is the deck I am running right here. So you can see my most expensive card is actually Bishop here. We don't want to go too high as we've got a bunch of cards that we would love to play multiple times thanks to Beast and Falcon. And of course the deck is built around Kitty Pride herself playing her as many times as we can so that on turn 6 she is just a one and a whole lot of power. But we are going to get into some gameplay and I'll talk you through it. If you are new here thank you for clicking on the video I hope you find it educational and entertaining. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for the continued support. I appreciate the support, and my llama here appreciates the support as well. But let's get into that single game showcase. All right, here we go. We've got Kitty Pride in our hand, and our goal is to play her um, as often as we can to kind of buff up her power and, you know, make sure she's as big as she can be on turn six. We also picked up Jeff, which is a really nice pickup here. Hit Monkey is great as well. We're definitely going to want to get Jeff down, though. And we'll throw him in the lane that is empty. Um, I love having Jeff in this deck simply because he can get into those lanes we otherwise wouldn't be able to. He's really our only hope at that. So he can definitely come in pretty clutch for us. All right, Luke Cage comes down. Um, Hulla will probably want to stay away from that. Picking up Bishop on three is really really nice we can go ahead and play bishop and you know he'll start to grow throughout the course of this game now because we've played pretty much on curve every time our kitty pride has not moved at all yet that's okay though we're gonna get her rolling right now and just like that we played a few different cards we put a little bit of power into the throne room right now in the form of yondu Really, it's going to wind up being Bishop that's going to be our big card there. Misty Knight coming through for him. The Hood is giving us that Demon, so that is going to be great for us. We did get Kitty Pride down as well, and Yandu is going to take out a Scorpion. So we're in really, really nice shape right now. We'd love to see a, a Beast here. That would be amazing. Let's see what we get. We hit Angelo. That's really, really nice as well. Do we want to play the demon or not? We are going to... We're going to hold the demon. And instead, we're going to play Falcon. As Falcon will bring Yondu back to our hand. So that will allow us to have an even bigger turn six with our hit monkey. Angela comes down. And she's going to start getting buffed right now. Angela and Bishop are going to be two of those cards that you are going to look to, you know, to buff out throughout the course of the game. We started a little bit late with Angela here. That's okay, though. Hazmat comes through. That doesn't really hurt us all that much. We hit the Collector. Ultimately, is it worth playing Collector? It's going to be the same as Yondu, so it really doesn't matter. So we're going to end up playing four cards here. And we probably want to try and take Wakanda from them. So I think what we're going to do is go Kitty, Demon, Hit Monkey, And then our other play is going to be over here. Bishop's already being buffed by our other cards being played. So we're free to just play over in Hala and hope that, uh, you know, the plus two, plus four from there is going to be enough to help us win this game. So Kitty Pride, Demon, and then of course our Hit Monkey is going to come through right now. Look at that Bishop. 9 power, 10 power, doubled up in the throne room. Hulk comes through. He does end up taking the throne room, but we're going to end up getting this win. This deck is super, super flexible. It allows you to go after those other locations. They thought they had Wakanda because of She-Hulk, but we were able to flip that with Kitty Pride, Demon, and Hit Monkey. So we actually put 12, what, 18 power in this location and was still able to play over in Hulla as well. 
that just shows you the power of this deck. All right, so just a final word about this deck. You can kind of see, you get a lot of power from playing the same card over and over. Kitty Pride is a great one. Iceman as Disrupt, very, very solid as well. Yandu to destroy some of their cards. And while you're playing those cards, you've got Bishop that's powering up, Collector that's powering up, and Angela. So those are pretty much all gonna stay there. We were able to get a Falcon down. Ultimately, it didn't matter too much. We can go even more crazy if we get Beast down on top of a Hit Monkey lane or on top of, um, you know, maybe a Demon and a Kitty Pride, getting them down to zero. But this deck is super, super fun, super flexible. It allows you to kind of switch lanes and go after a different lane, even if you've been playing on that lane all game. So, really, really fun deck. This is the version I'm using, as you can see, super, super cheap. But we are building our power through Angela, the Collector, and Bishop throughout the whole game. So tons of strength here. I hope y'all like the deck and I hope the game kind of showcased, you know, it wasn't the most insane Kitty Bounce game deck out, you know, Kitty Bounce game out there. But we still got a, a really, really nice win. So overall, really, really good deck. And if you've got some of these cards or even, you know, even most of them, you can give it a shot. But if you've hung around till now, I really appreciate you and the support. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe and like button as it really does help me out. But until next time, have some fun.